and the Niger Delta. You just watched highlights of Aimba being crowned the 2018-2019 champions of the Nigerian Football League. And the big talking point today is should Platoon United be crowned champions of the Nigerian Professional Premier League? When you look at what is happening out uh, in, in other African countries, um, five countries have actually cancelled their leagues. Uh, many other countries around the world are also suspending or trying to make a decision. And uh, yesterday, Super Eagles goalkeeper made his voice known. He said also the Nigerian Premier League should crown Plateau United champions of the Nigerian Professional Premier League. My guest today is Mr. Emmanuel Obiora. We'll look at his thoughts, um, if it's actually correct to crown Plateau United champions of the Nigerian Football League because of the coronavirus. We'll also take a look at um, Dangote and Arsenal. This was um, in January, I talked about wanting to buy Arsenal, but with the COVID-19, will Dangote still go ahead um, to show his interest in buying Arsenal? Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening, Supriya. Let's start with um, Plateau United. Um, do you think that um, they should be crowned champions of Nigerian football because of the coronavirus? Well, it all depends on the complexity of um, the dynamics of the league table as it is today. Because I know that um, a team like Inimba have um, five outstanding matches, yeah. which is, and they are about uh, they are the top, mm. close to the top. Mm. And if um, you crown Plateau United champions today mm. they could be an outcry we have five matches outstanding matches which we did we've not played not because of our fault but because mm. of the complexity of um, the um, calendar mm. so um, i think if um, if the league and company wants to go into that they have to really look deep and find a way to resolve it so that uh, litigations don't come after that well um but you look at COVID-19, and uh, let's be realistic, um, it's not safe for footballers to play. W what will Leimba be crying, crying for here? Because it's not a matter of Plateau United winning. What will Leimba fans be crying? Yeah, Leimba, Leimba fans will be crying knowing that uh, maybe they have some um, home matches that uh, they are so they are sure could give them um, three points. Mm. So out of the five, if they get nine points, Add to what they have now. I want to believe they will be tops. Yes, it, they will second if actually if they win three, they will second. If they win four, they will be top. If they win four, they will be top. Yeah, and it depends on um, what happens on the day of these uh, matches. So if they're able to, that's why I say it's a complex situation. Mm. You know, other countries that have suspended their leagues mm. or have um, decided that um, they go the hog. They've seen certain um, things in me that could um, cause a bit of a problem. Though mm. even in England, then they still believe that um, they shouldn't start when they are in June mm. because uh, the mayor of London is still crying foul that it's not safe yet. Mm. So the Nigerian situation could be as a result of uh, maybe feeling, they may feel cheated, and uh, you know the way our people. Um, mm. Uh, talk and uh, the, you know they like the courts. Mm. Right, for, our, for our fans in Port Harcourt and um, for Iba fans and River United fans who want to be part of this program, our number is 0813 746 You can also send us a text message if you're in Port Harcourt on that um, number. Um, we're discussing Plateau United, should it be crowned? But let's look at um, on the fair, on the fair point. Plateau United crowned, River United comes second. They will benefit from this, obviously. Yeah, yeah if, if um, the league ends today, um, Rivers United surely will be second mm. and um, have an advantage to play in the continental um, fixtures. Uh, but the they, they thing there is looking at it deeply so that um, there will be a little bit of equity. Mm. We know that COVID-19 is, um, is uh, out of the... It's, uh, it just came in. It's no man cost it and it's something that we have all even agreed. Even the footballers themselves agree that, um, look, we better stay to leave to play next time. Mm. Uh, but um, in terms of the complexity mm. of um, the, the 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 fixtures, mm. five matches behind is mm. so is so much mm. that uh, they will cry for. Mm. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Yeah, your name. Are you hearing me, sir? Yes, we are hearing you. Okay, so what about the Aimba? Because they have five outstanding matches. Yes. What about what? Aimba, Aimba, Aimba. Well, we. Because Aimba have five outstanding matches. Yes, they do. Hello? 
Yes, they do. They do have five outstanding matches. Yes. Yes, are they going to play We don't know. No, no. Well, well, that's what we're discussing. That's why we're asking. We're asking should platoon should the league end? That's why we're asking. Should okay, the league should end. That should the league should wait. Hello. Yeah, the league should wait. Uh, let me ask you one question. Um, in England, the coronavirus is dropping. In Nigeria, it looks like I'm not sure if it's rising up, but you know, it's safer in England. If I, if you might, if you may. yeah, I think it's safer in England. And uh, in Nigeria, do we really have the true statistics? How mm. many people have been tested? Mm. You know, and um, I want to believe also that what we do, we do, and what we do, we do because we hear that countries have done it. Mm. So it becomes. Um, it becomes a task also for it becomes a task also for mm. the um, for N L N LMC N L LMC to mm. to take decisions. Mm. Good afternoon. All right, zero seven zero three seven four two two nine five six. The next story is um, we're going to look at Arsenal because Aliko Dango they talked to, uh, about wanting to buy this club. Um, let's take a clip and uh, when we come back, okay, this is this is Aliko Aliko Dango uh, saying he wants to buy Arsenal. But let's take a clip and then when we come back, um, we'll, we'll discuss this. Can this deal actually happen? Competition that they were launching. It was very useful to have a reference. Handel to say, Dr. Priest, is such an affirmation of power, success, grandeur. It was written for King George's coronation. Então, quando você entra e você Welcome back, and I was asked now. Now, the second big question is um, Aliko Dangote in January said um, he's interested in buying Arsenal um, after his 2022 project in Lagos. Uh, and now, with the COVID 19 outbreak, um, he's made so much loss, um, I, I believe. And the big question is um, is this project, do you think this project will still come to play? Uh, for me, I think um, he loves Arsenal, but I think um, for him to buy Arsenal is going to be a very huge um, task because of the way the English um, and the fans worldwide mm -hmm. take Arsenal. Mm -hmm. They see it as, um, as as their own. So the person that will buy Arsenal must be somebody that is generally also loved by the fans. Mm -hmm. Otherwise the fans, like in Germany, may decide let us put our resources together and see if we can own uh, Arsenal. Club, yeah. Yeah, and uh, also if you look at it from the perspective of um, the cliche charity begins at home. Mm. What is what is his? Um, but but uh, you, you look at Liko Dangote. He's worth thirteen billion. He's rich. So why why can't he own? Why can't he own? If he can, yeah, 
know, when it comes to um, sports or owning clubs or owning sporting um, uh, establishments, I want to believe that uh, you have to look at, it's not just the financial aspect of it. You mm. look at the person's pedigree. Is he been into this or he just um, wants to come in to mm. buy because the club is making profit? Mm. And we know that what happens in... Um, what happens uh, in uh, concerning Aston Arsenal, especially mm. we know how much fights they are giving to Kronke mm. over him not disbursing money, despite the fact that he's um, very rich. So, what's the problem here with Dangote? Is it that he's not rich enough because he's obviously richer than many owners in the Premier League, or is it because he's a black person, or is it because he's not English? So, pray all these things may come into play when the time for decision is um, reached. I also believe that. Him not, them not allowing him to buy. Has he run any international? international but, but, well, did Dango, oh, oh, before now? I, I think there are rules for this. If if you want to buy, yes. um, I think there are rules. Um, you set up a structure. You just bring the money. Um, I don't think Aliko Dangote will hire the coach. I think the, the hiring the coach has to do with the board. Yeah, it it has to do with the board, but. If you hear the way they shout, the fans, especially because they want trophies at all time. If you see the way they talk about their owners, if the owner is spending money, whatever it is, they know that it's trying. But if it's a bit thrifty in terms of prudence and mm. management, thinking mm. of profit and all. Are that, you saying Dangote will not spend? Because if somebody is crazy about the club. You, if, may be, if, you may be crazy about a club if, and, if, not, if, and not really spend. Yeah, he's worth 13 billion. Yes. If Dangote puts a billion pounds in Arsenal. Yeah. That's a lot of money. Dangote is a capitalist. Dangote will put a billion believing that he will get he will make enough profit. And him looking at us now, not just because he's a, uh, a fan of us now, he's looking at us now because of the word of us now worldwide. He thinks is he, he thinks it's a product that he can make money from. Mm. Seeing the way he operates his business, so I'm not part of it, but I know that he's a core capitalist that mm. wants to make profit mm. in any business. And uh, I also believe that he knows where to put his money. Will it be a wise decision to invest in Arsenal as a club? Because the club is making money. Yeah, the club, clubs, club is making money. Okay, look at um, the hindrances. Um, over the guy that wants to buy a new castle. Yeah, the Saudi Arabia. It has Saudi to do with human rights. It, it, so many things come into play. Yeah. Until you can jump that. Um, if you're able to jump that hurdle, okay. But one key thing is that the fans also have a say in it. It's not just your money. But integrity test. That's what they they call it. Um, they, if you if a foreign body wants to buy a club, yeah. they have to pass it a test check out your human rights your money if you have any f financial but dangote has been very clean yeah he's been clean i'm not looking at that aspect i'm looking at the aspect of him being fully accepted by the english by no, no by the fans oh. let's let's not say the english while well, mm. the english i think uh, i hear the queen is um, an arsenal fan mm. so they want to make sure that whoever is buying it will be somebody that is well that it's also a good product to sell us now. Mm. All right. Um, thank you very much, um, Obina. I'm uh, sorry, Emmanuel Obiora has been our guest today. Um, he's, the, he's a member of Nigerian Tennis, River State Tennis Association. Thank you very much. We've been discussing uh, um, about Plateau United. Um, the big question is, would Plateau United, should Plateau United be relegated? And of course, uh, we also talked about Arsenal here and uh, we don't have enough time. Hopefully, we can do this again when the COVID is out. Yeah, it's, it's also good that, well, COVID is um, a natural uh, occurrence. Mm. And uh, like uh, in the English league now, mm. I want to believe that new uh, Liverpool want to play the matches. Let it be that they... they I, th I they think it's, 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 it's done. For yes, in, in, in England and Liverpool just won one match away. Yes, they want to win that match so that it's not seen as... Uh, you never know when um, issues come up, say... Covid um, uh, didn't allow you to win. No, Covid uh, champions. <laughs> they would like to play. So I think um, the Nigerian situation, if it's a dead straight situation, mm -hmm. I want to believe that um, um, there are so many other titles to win when we are all um, safe to play. So Enyimba should at least um, bulge. But they will have their eyes 
in the continental where money comes oh, in. Well, well, the problem here is, I'm sorry if Aimba will lose that completely out of the continent if it ends this way. Yeah, now I want to believe the guy that called in is yeah. an Aimba, Aimba fan. fan. All right, so he's you. saying no, whether COVID or COVID, <laughs> let's wait, even if it means mm. playing into 2000, uh, 2021, let's wait. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Obina. Thank you very much, Emmanuel Obia. Thank you very much, Asbina. Guest. Uh, to my team, thank you very much to the operations director. You've done a wonderful job. Helen has also done a wonderful job. And the executive producer of this show, Pastor Daphne Gogwabi. My name is Sopri Godwin Sinkachu and keep scoring. <laughs>